Hello students. Today we're going to talk about isosceles trapezoids. So the definition of an isosceles trapezoid is just a trapezoid whose legs are congruent. So I have them marked here to show that they're the same length. And then of course a trapezoid is just a um, quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. So we got some theorems that go with these bad mama jammas. Let's look at those. The first theorem says each pair of base angles in an isosceles trapezoid is congruent. So when we look up here, what that means, so here's one of my bases. So angle W is congruent to angle X. And then here's my other base. So that means that Z is congruent to Y. So we also have that angle Z is congruent to angle Y. All right, the next theorem says that the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So let's draw some diagonals here. So here are my diagonals that go to opposite angles. So that means that the length of this segment is equal to the length of this segment because they're congruent. WY is congruent to XZ, so their measures are equal. So the diagonals are equal. All right, and then the last thing is that opposite angles are supplementary. So what that means is that these angles add up to 180 degrees. And I don't know if you noticed, but these angles add up to 180 degrees. You guys, it goes back to parallel lines and same side interior angles. So look, here are my parallel lines. And you see, if you wanna think about this as a transversal, then you've got these two same side interior angles, so they're going to be supplementary. They're add up to 180. Same thing over here. Those are same side interior angles. That, oops, <laughs> they're also going to add up to 180. So, same side interior angles are supplementary, and then according to this theorem, as you see, opposite angles are also supplementary. So, we'll just come over here to the side. Whoop. So, the measure of angle W plus the measure of angle Y is going to equal 180 degrees because supplementary means they add up to 180. And then the measure of angle X plus the measure of angle Z is going to equal 180 degrees because they're opposite angles and they're also supplementary. But as I said before, keep in mind that the same side interior angles created by these parallel lines and these transversals are also supplementary. So, let's do some examples. Well, oh, I wanted to show you uh, the quadrilateral family tree. Um, I've been showing you this. So, we have quadrilaterals on our last lesson. We said trapezoids are a quadrilateral, but they're not a parallelogram because there's only one pair of parallel lines. And from trapezoids, we can draw another branch going to isosceles trapezoids. So, isosceles trapezoids are trapezoids and they're quadrilaterals. Now, we'll do some examples. So, let's look at the first one. It says, find the measures for each trapezoid. So, it tells me that the measure of angle ADC is 80 degrees. So ADC, that's this whole big angle right here, is 80 degrees. Now remember, the base angles are congruent. So if this angle is 80 degrees, I know that this angle is also 80 degrees, right? Because they're part, they're attached to the same base. So BCD is also 80 degrees. So here's BCD, and that'll also be 80 degrees. If you wanted to stick with the angles for a little bit, we, if you remember, opposite angles are supplementary. So if this is 80 degrees, 180 minus 80 would be 100 degrees. So I know that this angle has to be 100 degrees, and that's angle A, B, C. So angle ABC is 100 degrees. Now, 
We also know that base angles are equal, and here's base AB. If this is 100 degrees, guess what? This one's gotta be 100 degrees too. So angle DAB is also 100 degrees. So when you have an isosceles triangle, you're only gonna have two different angle measures as far as the base angles. These two are the same, these two are the same, these and these should add up to 180, these and these should add up to 180. All right, it also tells me that AC is 18 centimeters. So AC is this diagonal right here. This diagonal is 18 centimeters and it wants to know what BD is. So they're asking me about this one. Well, what did we learn about the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid? They are equal. So if this one's 18 centimeters, then this one has to be 18 centimeters too. So this example kind of had everything together. Now we're gonna look at a few where we'll just address each little part. So for number two, it gives us the angle E here is 60 degrees and it wants us to find the measure of angle H. So that's this one right here. So if I think about these being parallel lines, then these two angles would be same side interior angles, which means they're supplementary. So I could just do 180 minus 60 and that would be 120 degrees. Now another way you could think about it is if this is 60 degrees, then this has to also be 60 degrees, right? And then remember, opposite angles are supplementary, but you'd still do 180 minus 60 and get 120. Whatever floats your boat. Let's look at the third one. It tells us that the measure of angle W, they wanna know, and they tell us the measure of angle Z is 100 degrees. Well, these two angles are part of this same base, right? This is one of my bases. So if this one's 100 degrees and this is an isosceles trapezoid, what's this one gotta be? It's got to be 100 degrees. Bonus question, what does that mean those two are? Anybody? Those have got to be 80. All right. Let's do another one. One more and I'm done with you for the day. All right, so we have this trapezoid J-U-M-P. It's an isosceles trapezoid. I know this because the two legs are congruent and they're asking me what J-M is. It tells me P-U. <laughs> so here's P-U is 9.2. And then it wants to know what JM is. Well, if this is an isosceles trapezoid, I know that the diagonals are congruent, so their measures are equal. So if this one's 9.2, then the other diagonal must also measure 9.2 units. All right, you guys, thank you.